Hey, good morning. Chuck here with Apple Drains. You know, we've got this 2008 Chevy. It's got 312,000 miles on it, and it's developed a pretty good substantial tick in those lifters. So after seeing lots of videos and talking to lots of people, we're going to give this product a try. Motor Medic, and it's a motor flush. And what it says is you can do this in five minutes. I'm sure it'll take longer than that. But basically what we're going to do is we're going to add this entire quart into the crankcase, into the oil, and then we're going to let it run for five minutes. And then we're going to drain the oil, and then we're going to add new oil, new filter. Let's just see if that tick disappears. Let's listen to that tick. Can you hear that tick? That's the lifters going bad. And you can see we don't have a lot of oil pressure. We're going to try this motor flush, motor medic, follow the directions and just see what it does. I really don't know what the results will be, but we're going to give this a try, see what it does. Hopefully it quiets it down a little bit because it's such a good looking truck that we'd really hate to spend any more money on it. Okay, so it says to add this to a cold crankcase. We've let it sit now for about 15-20 minutes and we're going to go ahead and add this, oil, this uh, motor medic, like they said. Pretty runny, looks like transmission fluid. Pour this whole cord in here. Very nice. Use our handy dandy funnel. 51 cents, Walmart. <laughs> then it says to go ahead and start your engine. Okay, we're gonna start our clock. You can see our clock here. We're gonna let this thing run for five minutes. It's supposed to take all the gunk, the carbon stuff out of you know where the uh, lifter is. There's a little hole there that oil pumps up through to keep the top of the head from getting too dry. It needs oil, of course, otherwise you start hearing this ping. Now we may have a broken uh, lifter, but we're going to find out with this product. If you can see that, it's been a little over five minutes. We'll give it another couple minutes there and then we're going to shut this off and change the oil. Okay, so it's been about six and a half, seven minutes. We're going to shut this down and change the oil. One of the things that it does say on the uh, directions there is Make sure that you don't rev your engine or drive the vehicle while this product's inside the crankcase. So we've just let it run and we're going to shut it off and change the oil. I just use a pair of vice grips usually and um, try not to damage the threads, you know. Okay, so we'll let, we're using a Bosch filter. Um, give it a try. Read something about uh, Fram filters and how they're not so great. So we're going to try a Bosch. I don't think it really matters, but let's see what it does. We're just using this uh, self-tightening filter. And basically, it just goes on there and tighten it up. And then you untighten the filter. We've already loosened it, so let's go ahead and let it drop. A lot of oil sits in that filter, so make sure you're careful with it. Unspin it, let it drop. You can see how much oil still comes out of there. So now let's get our new Bosch. So when tightening up your filter, put it in there hand tight. Put it in there hand tight. 
and then you get your wrench. You don't want to over tighten your filter. If you do, it's real hard to get out. I'm using an oversized plug because someone had stripped this out before we bought it. So I had to buy a little bit larger drain plug. And so far it's been working pretty good. Just want to make sure we get it good and tight so there's no drips. Okay, so now we're going to go ahead and change out this oil, put new oil in. We're using a Valvoline 530. This is a Max Life for you know over mileage engines. Remember, we have 312,000 miles on here, so we're going to put this in here. This van takes six quarts, so we use a whole five quart bottle and one extra quart <laughs> that hopefully makes six quarts. Okay, we're going to use our 51 cent funnel and start pouring some oil. Yeah, 51 cents, you gotta go slow. <laughs> but it's okay, it's all going, it's all good. So there's five quarts. Let's go ahead and add, this is a full synthetic, high mileage. Just one quart of that, 5W30. Because that's what the van calls for, with a filter. So we're putting six quarts of oil in the crank case. And we're just about ready to fire this little baby up. Check for leaks and things like that. Okay, let's look for leaks and then we're going to start this up. Okay, so let's recap. We put in one quart of Motor Medic Motor Flush. We let it run for five or six minutes, as they said. Drained the oil, changed the filter, put in Max Life Synthetic Blend. We put in six quarts. And I don't know if you can hear it over there, but I don't hear any difference in this engine at all. I still hear a pretty good tick. I'm not sure if it's on this side. Remember, this is a big 6.0 liter V8. I believe it's on the driver's side. But you can still hear that tick. You can really hear it over here. Okay, so you can see our mileage is 312,000. You can see our oil pressure is pretty low. And there is still a tick 